Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Bell Yogi. My name is Michelle, and today we are going to practice yoga for tennis. To prepare for this video, I talked to my friends, tennis pro Caroline V from California and physical therapist, Dr. Nicholas Russo from New York City. They gave me some good tips to help me design a sequence specifically for tennis players. This class can help players prevent injury and it is a great warm up before you play. It can really help anyone looking for some more spinal rotation, internal and external rotation of the hips, chest opening and shoulder stability. All you need is your tennis racket, a tennis ball, a yoga mat and a little bit of space. So without further ado, let's get started. We will start on our shins. Come to sit down on your heels. If it's more comfortable for you, just come to a regular seat. You'll take a deep breath in through your nose and a full breath out your mouth, let it go. Do that one more time, full breath in, big breath out. We'll begin to close the mouth and breathe in and out through the nose. We can start with a four count box breathing. So we'll start four seconds, inhale, we'll hold for four seconds, exhale for four, and hold the breath at the bottom for four counts as well. So inhale for one, two, three, four, hold, four, three, two, one, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold, four, three, two, one. Try that a few more times on your own. Relaxing the forehead as you do, relaxing through the jaw. This kind of breath can help build lung capacity. Your next exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, lift the chin up. Exhale, chin drops. Inhale, chin lifts. One more time, drop it down and lift it up. From here, come to center. Turn your gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale to center and exhale over your left. Do that a few more times, right and left. We'll come back through to center. Exhale, drop your right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, drop left ear to left shoulder. And do that a few times, moving side to side. Good, we'll hold it on the right. You can take your right hand on top of your head if you'd like a little more pressure. Maybe start to lift your left fingers up towards the ceiling and feel that sensation down the arm. Other side, drop left ear to left shoulder. Maybe take the left hand on top of the head. You can reach your right arm out to the side. And maybe lift those right fingers up towards the ceiling and take a few breaths there. Inhale, reach your both arms out to the side in line with your shoulders. Put your hands in fist and rotate your wrist in one direction and the other direction. Good, open and close your hands a few times warming up the forearms. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, draw your hands to Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. Again, inhale, sweep your arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. One more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Set an intention for your practice. From here, come to your seat. Walk your feet as wide as your mat. Bring your hands down behind you, maybe fingertips face your feet, and then start to drop your knees right and left, side to side. Good. 
Good. This time we'll hold the knees dropped over to the right. Sit on up nice and tall and on your exhale, turn over your right shoulder towards the back of your mat. Right hand will stay down. Inhale, open your left arm out. Open the chest and exhale, thread right under your right arm. Again, inhale to open and exhale to close. Do that a few more times at the pace of your breath, just moving through the spine freely. Good. This next time, release your left hand down. Maybe come to the forearms if that feels okay for you. You can even start to drop your head and lift it up a few times, almost like a cat cow, just exploring how it feels in this movement. Maybe steadiness is what you'd like today, just holding it still. And breathe. Notice where you're feeling it. On your inhale, start to walk yourself back up, walk your hands to your center, and again, drop your knees over to the left. This time, turn over your left shoulder, walk your hands back, lengthen your spine. Left hand will stay down, and open your right arm out as you exhale, thread. Inhale to open, and exhale to thread. You're also warming up the core here. And do this a few more times. Good. Release your right hand down. Inhale, lengthen and exhale. Maybe fold down onto your forearms. Do whatever is comfortable for your head and neck here. And take a few big breaths in and out through your nose. Let it feel good. Inhale, start to lift yourself back up and walk your hands through center. You can sway your knees a few more times side to side. And then let's come on to our seat again. So you're gonna grab your ball and we're gonna do a little myofascia release work on our hands. So just take that ball and roll it under your right hand, roll it forward and back in the length of the tissue and then across the tissue. You can even get into the forearm area the back of the hand, whatever feels good here. Just start to explore. Maybe shake out that wrist and then do the other side. Put the ball under your left hand. Start to move that ball all around. The more pressure, the more sensation you might feel. Just kind of warming up our hands, our wrists, our forearms with this ball. Take a little more time here, and if you'd like to do some pin and holds, feel free to do that. You can always pause this video and give yourself more time. But if you're feeling pretty good, we'll begin to move on shortly. So just place the ball to side, sit up nice and tall. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, twist open to the right. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, twist open to the left. Inhale, Reach up, exhale, release the arms. Right arm will reach up and over, take a side bend to the right. Inhale through center, exhale, side bend to the left. Release your hands down, come to table pose, and we'll stretch out the wrists a little bit. So maybe walk your hands towards the long edge of your mat and just sway the body side to side. You can stay there. If you'd like more, walk your fingers back towards your knees. Maybe even curl your toes under to stretch the bottoms of the feet as well. Take a few breaths. When you're ready, walk your hands back towards the long edges and then walk them back forward. On your exhale, right elbow will drop. Start to look over your left arm. Inhale through center, left elbow drops down. Look over your right arm. Inhale through center and walk your wrist back underneath your shoulders and we'll do a few cat cows. Inhale to arch your back through spinal extension and exhale round your spine through flexion. Do this a few more times at the pace of your breath. Let this feel good. Make any movements that feel necessary here. Inhale, looking up. And exhale, tucking the chin to chest. Bring your hands forward in front of your shoulders. Curl the toes under and lift your hips. We're coming into downward dog. Make sure your feet are at least hip distance apart. And you might want to start to paddle the feet left and right. So you lift one heel, drop the opposite heel down. Good, then right foot will step, step forward. 
left knee drops down to the ground, slide your left knee behind your hip and make sure your right knee is right on top of your ankle. You can stay there, bring your hands behind your head, elbows nice and wide as you lean your head back into your hands, open up the chest and take a few big breaths. Release your hands down when you're ready, start to straighten the right leg for that nice hamstring stretch. Maybe right toes lift up towards the ceiling. Left hand will stay down, inhale, reach your right arm out and then reach your right arm up. So inhale up, exhale back a few times. Good, exhale, release your hand back to the floor and we'll switch sides. Maybe sit back to child's pose in between. Come back forward, curl the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Left foot will step forward, right knee drops down, relax the top of the right foot to the floor, coming to Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Breathe into that right hip and you can stay there, bring your hands behind the head for a deeper sensation, maybe a little back bend. Breathe deeply into the center of your heart. On your exhale, release your hands down, start to shift your hips back as you extend your left leg straight. From here, right hand will stay down. Inhale, open your left arm out. Reach your arm up and then exhale, take it back a few times. Good. Inhale and then exhale, release your hand back down. Release your left knee back and then sit back into child's pose, Balasana. Take a few breaths just to pause. From here, you're gonna grab your racket. Come to sit on your shins if that's okay for you. Take your left arm out, racket's in your left hand, and take it behind your back. You're gonna reach your right arm out to the side, turn your thumb down, and reach for the bottom of that racket. And just take a moment here to stretch out the shoulders, the chest, breathe into wherever you're feeling this. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Good, and then you'll release. Racket goes in your right hand, Left arm out to the side. Right arm will reach up and back and then take your left arm to the side, turn your thumb down and reach for that racket. Again, you're trying to bring that top elbow up towards the ceiling and the bottom elbow down towards the ground. You can always sit up if that feels more comfortable. Good, slowly release. Let's come all the way down to our belly. Move all your stuff out of the way. Take your arms out to a T. Take your right hand under your shoulder and start to roll onto that left side. Your right leg can come behind you, maybe right foot to the floor, right knee up towards the ceiling. You're stretching the front of that left side of the chest. Breathe deeply here. Come back through to center, right arm comes out to the side, right palm is down towards the ground, left hand under the shoulder, and then press into your left hand to roll to the right side. Same thing, other side. Just breathe deeply here. And now come up, maybe come through a cobra, and then come down to your forearms. Just a moment here for sphinx pose. Press the pubic bone down into the floor, Move your chest forward, elbows pull back a little bit. Good, and then press yourself up and back. And we're gonna come down to our back now. Just flip on over. Make sure your feet are about hip distance apart. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh for figure four or supine pigeon. You can press your right hand into your thigh. Maybe that feels like enough or lift your left foot up, interlace the fingers either behind the thigh or in front of the shin for a little more. Breathe deeply into the hips here. Good, release when you're ready. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh, same thing, other side. Take a few breaths into this new, new side. And breathe. Relax the muscles in the face. Good, release when you're ready. Take the soles of the feet together, knees out wide. Supta Baddha Konasana. Just take a moment to come back to your breath. 
Good. Lift the knees back up. Let the arms come out to a T. Scoot your hips over to the left and drop and stack your knees over to the right. Your next exhale, let your left arm lift. Close it towards the right arm. Inhale, open your left arm all the way back out. Again, exhale to close. Roll all the way to that right shoulder and inhale to open. A few more times like this. Yeah, hold this next one open. Just take a few deep breaths into the left side of your body. Feel the expansion and contraction there. And then we'll switch. Realign your hips, scoot them over to the right, drop your knees over to the left, arms come back out to the T, palms facing up. On your exhale, right arm closes to meet your left, inhale to open. Exhale again to close, inhale to open. And again, do this a few more times. Move as slow as you need here. Really nice. Okay, hold this next one open and take a few big breaths into the right side of your body. Good, then come back through to center. Just place your hands on your abdomen. Take a few deep diaphragmatic breaths here. Great job. Grab behind your thighs. Roll on up. Nice work, everybody. I hope you have a fabulous day. Until next time, namaste.